Hi, I'm Mike Lewis. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn yourself into a vision from Avengers movie. Okay, so let's go. The first thing is to find a photo which you want to use. I'm gonna go with this one. So I deleted the background from it. And then I make selection around the head. Then I delete the hair. And I use the liquify tool to extend the head a bit. Okay, you can see we've got something like this. And then I make a selection and I just extend the head a bit. And with spot killing brush I fix some places. I also delayed ears. We don't need them. And I also delayed eyebrows. I use again spot healing brush to fix some places. And I create a new adjustment layer. And I create a clipping mask to our layer. And I just change the color of the skin to red. And just make sure that the red color is not affecting the eyes. And I put some new adjustment layers to de decrease a bit uh, light and contrast. And then with pen tool I'm creating a new selection. Which later is gonna be our helmet. And I fill the selection with a gray color for now. And then I duplicate the selection to the right side. And then at the center I prepare the place for the crystal. And I create a new selection uh, for the ears or something that Vision has at the size of his head. And then I want to make our skin really smooth because the Vision has silky smooth skin or it's some kind of material. We want to imitate this. So I'm using surface blur and then I duplicate the original layer and I just mask a few places that I don't want to be so smooth. And I'm creating a new selections and new layers. And it's important to remember that with those new layers, I only want to have those edges to be visible. So I just make the fill layer to 0% and then I only use drop shadows and inner shadows inside of layer styles. This is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm playing with drop shadows, inner shadows, and also and bevel and embers. I'm adding some more details, the same techniques as before. So with the selection tools, I'm creating the shapes. And then I'm playing with uh, shadows. And then I select the shape which I created and I create a new adjustment layer and put the selection as a mask. And now I use a brightness and contrast and also hue saturation to boost and the light of these selections. Right now it's all about the details and you can see I'm adding some new elements to our character. To make sure that it looks pitaristic as exactly the vision looks. And then I duplicate what I did on the left side, the right side. And when I'm happy with the shapes of my elements, I move to the gradients and I start with the main one for the helmet that we created uh, before. So I just go to gradient overlay and I just add colors to imitate this kind of chromish effect. So I'm adding some light grays, some dark grays and some dark and uh, dark kind of bluish grays colors. And then I'm adding the shadows and adding some inner shadows, which adds a bit more details. 
and then I just duplicate the layer style that I created and I just paste it on the other elements. And I found this nice picture of the crystal and I want to use it on our crystal. So I'm just creating a clipping mask. And I place it on our crystal. I put some adjustment layers to change the color to yellowish. And I add some shadow to add a bit more depth to the crystal. And then I found this nice metal texture and I want to use it on our helmet to add a bit more details. And I put this texture metal on soft light blend mode. Then I correct a neck a bit and I'm also using spot healing brush to fix some places on the sweater that I don't want to see. And I'm creating more metal elements beneath the neck and I also paste the gradient that we created before. Then I put a background and I use field blur to blurry it a bit. And then I just put an armor which vision head on our character to just make it simple and save us some time so we don't need to recreate it and we can just merge it with our picture. And I duplicate it to the right side and I blend it with the metal element that we created before. And then I'm adding some shadows and you can see that I also decided to, to change the background to city. And I add some more shadows. I draw some lines here and there. To add shadows I use hue saturation layer with lightness on the lower values and also exposure on the lower values. And of course I mask it and I just use a simple brush to paint those uh, lines with shadows. And then I again decided to move back to the original background. Probably the city doesn't suit so well the vision character. And I draw some additional elements. And to be closer to what vision looks, I also decided to change the eyes a bit and to make them blue like the original character uh, has. I add some light on the edges. And then I decided that I really want the crystal to be glowing, so I created a new solid color layer and I changed the blending mode to screen and I just brush it a bit more. And then I created a new hue saturation layer to add uh, the color that the crystal is imitating to character. And I also add some edges of light and of course shadows. And on the chin I add an edge of light and I blend it with our picture. And then I add some particles to make the crystal more amazing. <laughs> and then I add a few filters and I also add a field blur. And then we go to our favorite tool, camera raw filter. And this is gonna be our last step. So I just play with values. And I also go to color mixer and I also play with values there. And I add some sharpening effect. And also I add chromatic aberration and vignette. And that's it for today's video, I hope you liked it, I hope you learned something from it, please give a like, comment and subscribe, tell me which character would you like to see next, and to the next time, bye!